my name is Tony Castro. I'm a naval architect. Well, I think what's special about it is not so much the project, but what we're going to create and what it's going to do with it. It's so the, I think the real extraordinary thing is where it's going to travel to, and uh, you know what it's going to be doing in the you know in the next 20, 30 years. Skip is, if you like, he's one of these last adventurers. You know, he's one of these people that, uh, that uh, in a real adventure, and also a varied one. You know, he was a, a very well-known sailor and skipper. You know, sailing around the world, winning, and and of course he loves mountaineering as well. So he is a he's a rare breed of people, honestly. And I really enjoy being with him because it's a, it's just a different kind of person. And much of the design, you know, follows what we learn from his experiences you know, of uh, doing this kind of thing for many years. So that's really, really a very important part of the project. Well, Vincent of Antarctica, you know, when you look at it from the dock, uh, everybody who's seen the boat, they, wow, they just say, wow, this is something very different. high winds all the time, big seas, and when there's not much wind, we're motoring because we're trying to get somewhere. So the, you know, the propulsion and system and the drivetrain, uh, engines, propellers, that all has to be quite powerful as well. Because when the wind dies, uh, we, we, we're sailing still, but motoring as well, motor sailing to get from A to B, because we're, you know, we have a job to do. Vinson of Antarctica, it's a very strong boat. It's been reinforced in all, all over the hull. Uh, the material of the boat, being a metal boat with a lot of reinforcement, it, it makes her very suitable uh, for, for going to extreme areas. So the other very important part of the design of, of this boat is that all the machinery and all the systems are really well designed and above all, very easy to maintain. So there's a very specific and big effort in taking care of this area of the, of the design and something that uh, Skip is particularly keen on because he's the one that has to be out there trying to fix it if something goes wrong. So both the the choice of equipment, the, how it's located in the boat, uh, the amount of space you have around it to maintain it properly. It, it, it all seems discussed very, very thoroughly. We have everything on the deck in terms of the winches, uh, furling systems and all that to manage the sails are all manual still, which is quite extraordinary for a boat of this size. Usually when you get to this size, the sails become so big you are obliged to have electric hydraulic systems to, to trim and ease the sails. Whereas this concept, we compared to my boat, we've gone with two masts to break up the sail area to keep the sails a bit smaller so we can still maintain that manual system. I think it's very important. And also from the sail training perspective uh, that we're going to do a lot of, I think, is you know we, you don't want push-button technology. You want, actually want to have physicality involved of managing a boat and that's why the, you know the square riggers were so good for cadets because there's a lot of ropes a lot of things to do and you have to be physically fit uh, to to sail a boat like that and this is sort of a mini version almost of a you know a tall ship 
because we have a lot of ropes, a lot of rigging, uh, but it's all very functional and all very logical. You can see what you're doing. The focus here is more on educational, uh, high-value educational projects like film teams, science, uh, and uh, an education for young uh, Chileans. Uh, that's also part of the program. Some sail training and some motivational development for young sailors because Nicholas has the sailing school in Port Williams. We want to sort of extrapolate that into a bigger boat and wider experiences for these people. So this is sort of a multi, uh, I would say a multi-functional vessel. You know, do a bit of chartering commercially to hopefully offset the costs. Uh, some really good projects that we can be proud of in the educational uh, genre and some sail training as well. Yes, down she goes. So, and then we're going to be mainly focused in the far south, but the boat also has the ability to go up and down the Atlantic and operate in the Arctic as well if there's any interesting Arctic projects coming up. I would like to finish proposing a, a toast. For the Finson and Idirain, the Medzain work, did project, have Mohlik gemaakt. Yeah.